In this tutorial I am going to show two workarounds for the magic mask in the color page when the tracking data is lost on the edit page. This is a low quality image off the internet which appears too blue, so I will reduce the blue and increase the contrast for a little better selection. Option or Alt S for new node. Select magic mask and we have two options a person or an object. The object selections usually works best even on people. Apply the mask overlay, then select the eyedropper with the plus sign. Draw lines to select the area needed, shown by the overlay which is the head and shoulders in this case. Use Option or Alt to turn the eyedropper into a minus sign to remove unwanted selections. Obviously better does improve the selection. I am not going to cover all the settings in this panel, but small adjustments can improve the mask. Click on the double arrows to start the tracking. This is only a 5 second clip, but using the better option requires a lot of computer resources. To get the transparency we need to add an alpha output and connect the blue dots together. Back on the edit page, we get what we expect, but I need to make changes to the size and position, and this causes an issue where we lose the magic mask data from the color page. In the color page we have no tracking data indicated by the red line. We need to remask to demonstrate the workaround on the edit page. I spotted a problem with the first mask around the right eye, so I'll try the minus eyedropper to clean it up, though I doubt it'll help much. Although having multiple sections or pages, as DaVinci Resolve calls them, has many advantages, it can also lead to issues when going back and forth between pages. This is not about a perfect mask and more about preserving the mask in the edit page, so I haven't made any changes in the refine range box. Reconnect the alpha output. Before making any changes to the masked clip, we need to preserve the tracking data. This is where rendering in place fixes the issue. Right click on the horse clip, select render in place. On a Mac change the codec from Apple ProRes to DNxHR. Leave the rest as the default. Then create the folder for the render in place. With the render now in place, the entire clip, including the mask and alpha channel, is baked into a single video file. Another option, before using the render in place, would be to export the clip with an alpha channel and then import it back into the timeline. DNxHR or GoPro Cineform will export with an alpha channel. Check the export alpha box.